uh, is r from the midpoint of the dipole and uh, point p is located at a distance r1 from the positive charge q and uh, r2 from the negative charge minus q let's see for this uh, we consider about uh, an electric dipole consider about an uh, electric uh, dipole uh, in this uh, uh, electric dipole the dipole moment is p along the direction minus q to plus q So first of all we find out what is the electric potential at P due to the plus Q charge. So we write down here the electric potential at the P due to plus Q charge so this one will be uh, 1 by 4 pi uh, epsilon naught into Q by R1 and of that there is no problem to understand up to this step similarly electric potential at P due to minus Q charge And half that there is no problem to understand of these steps so that we find out electric potential at P due to the dipole. equal to this one will be 1 by 4 by outside node uh, by here write down here q by r1 uh, minus q by r2 uh, now we take the common q then the next step will be here uh, we write down here P equal to we write down here P P equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon naught by 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. Let's see the figure uh, 
find out the electric potential at P due to the type dipole with respect to R. So we convert R1 into R and R2 into R. So we see here uh, what will be the value of R1. So the value of uh, R1 will be here. We write down here R1 S2 R2. R cos theta or we write down here A minus R cos theta to the S square plus R S square sin S square theta. Hope that there is problem to understand at this step. Uh, let's see here uh, if we consider about uh, uh, this is the dipole. Here is the minus key charge. Here is the plus key charge, and uh, uh, this is the point P, and uh, this is the R1, and uh, this is the R2, and uh, this is the middle point of the dipole. Uh, this is the R. So we consider about this one and this is the theta so we draw the perpendicular here and here will be this one and uh, this one will be the uh, 90 degree so we find out what is the value of uh, r1 so here r1 s square will be this one converted into r cos theta so the total value of this one is k and uh, the value of this one will be r cos theta and the value of this one will be r sin theta and uh, this is a right angle triangle this one is a right angle triangle so this is a right angle triangle in which uh, this is the hypotenuse and uh, this is the base and the value of this one is the a and the value of this one is the r cos theta so the value of this one will be a minus r cos theta and the value of this one is r sin theta so we have uh, the value of perpendicular is r sin theta and the value of uh, base is a minus r cos theta so we recall here Pythagoras theorem and according to the Pythagoras theorem we know that a square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides in a right angle triangle so here uh, hypotenuse will be r1 so we write down here r1 a square and uh, base will be a minus r cos theta therefore i have written here a minus r cos theta all square and uh, the value of p is here uh, r sin theta therefore i i written here r square sin square theta so hope that there is no problem to understand at this step after this explanation if you have write into the comment box I shall try my level best to clear your doubt as well as uh, if you have doubt then join the online live class of join for education uh, there your doubt uh, will be clear so let's see here uh, here will be r1 s square uh, equal to we expand this one according to the form of a minus b all plus square uh, therefore this one will be a square uh, minus 2ab so we write down here minus 2a r cos theta and uh, here will be r square uh, cos square theta and we copy this one and we write down here uh, r square and uh, sin square theta so the next step here will be r1 square equal to a square minus 2 a r 
uh, this is the first data and uh, we take uh, r square as the common then uh, here we write down plus and r square as the common and we write down here cos square theta plus uh, sin square theta so in the next step here will be a square minus 2ar uh, cos theta and uh, plus here will be we know that cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1 therefore here will be 1 into r square equal to r square so the value of uh, r1 square is uh, a square minus 2ar cos theta plus r square uh, similarly here the value of r2 square uh, equal to a square plus uh, 2ar and uh, here will be cos theta plus r square so uh, we have the value of r1 square and r2 square but we need the value of r1 and r2 to find out the uh, potential at p due to the dipole so uh, we convert uh, r1 square into r1 and r2 square into r2 so at this step here uh, will be let's see here so r1 equal to here will be a square minus uh, 2 ar and uh, cos theta plus r square over root 